Hi, Tyler from Interfidelity here. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting headphone. This is the Enigma Acoustics Dharma D1000 headphone. And it's very unusual in that it is a dual driver headphone. This driver, this headphone has both a dynamic driver, which is typical on headphones, and an electret driver, which is uh, like an electrostatic headphone, but um, is permanently polarized, so you don't need the high voltages that a regular electrostatic headphone would have. Uh, in my experience, dual driver headphones really don't sound good. I've, I've not heard one that sounded any good at all. Uh, the AKG K340 was a similar headphone with both dynamic and electret drivers, and it, it was okay, but it was really not um, what I would consider a listenable headphone for any length of time. And uh, what's different about the Enigma Acoustics Dharma is that I do think it's a listenable headphone. It's definitely um, actually quite a good sounding headphone in terms of its tonality, which is pretty good. Uh, let's give it a quick look. This is a full-size open headphone, so it doesn't seal you off from the outside world. Uh, the Most of the construction is uh, um, um, metals and uh, leather. Um, very little plastic to be seen on the headphone. Uh, the ear pads, I think, are a uh, protein leather, and they're not... Um, uh, uh, a real material, but it, protein leather is a good uh, material for an ear pad, uh, although I think the foam underneath isn't memory foam, and to my uh, senses, the headphone is just a little bit stiff around the ear, uh, ear pads so that it's not quite as cushy and comfortable as some of the more comfortable headphones in this category, uh, that category being headphones that are over $1,000. This is a $1,190 headphone. Uh, uh, the hammock style ear uh, head adjustment is something that I, I, I tend to not like, uh, but I think, oh, there's my cat, hi Scratch. Um, but I think I, um, that they've done that very well on these headphones. They they do seem to adjust fairly well to your head. Uh, the ear pieces are on uh, gimbals, so they they move forward and backward, but only about ten degrees. So uh, there's not a lot of adjustment. The up and down tilt is quite uh, free, but the forward and back tilt. Um, has some friction built into it, I think, by design. But the bottom line is, is that when you put it on your head, you always have to kind of give it a little um, nudge to get into the right position. Uh, overall, the headphones are um, moderately light. They are kind of average in this class at about a little over 400 grams. Um, the uh, headphone cable is three meters long, attaches to each earpiece, using a connector that is just like the connector found on the Sennheiser HD800. And I did try an aftermarket Y-Wires balance cable on the headphones and they work just fine. The cable itself is a, a, a fabric covered cable, but it tends to kink and, and retain the kinks. They don't, they don't really want to go away. So the cable's not microphonic or anything, but it, it does tend to be a little kinky. Um, and on the far end of the cable is a quarter inch headphone jack, of course. Um, in terms of the sound quality of these headphones, the tonal balance is fairly good. I would say it, it may be um, more on target uh, with what my target is than any of the other headphones in this class. Um, so they do have a good tonality right out of the box, but there are a couple of sonic uh, problems that tend to get in the way of, uh, um, of listening sometimes in that the low frequencies of the headphone are a bit um, uh, muddied and murky. The measured distortion is amazingly high, but uh, at like 10%. Um, in the low frequencies below 100 hertz or so, but the um, but it doesn't sound nearly that bad. In fact, during the Big Sound uh, 2015 um, that I had here, the event, 
Uh, many people didn't have any problem with the bass until I sort of forced them to focus on it. And then they said, yeah, there seems to be some murkiness going on there. So the measured distortion is way worse than what, uh, what you hear. And then that's very odd to me. The other thing that I heard a lot of people say was that the, um, there was a, or not a lot of people, but quite a few people say that there did seem to be a discontinuity between the handoff between the dynamic driver and the electret driver. Now, I've been assured by uh, Enigma Acoustics, first of all, that it's not a true crossover, that the dynamic driver is a full range driver and gets signal over its entire range. And the Electret just cut, cuts in at above 10K, they say. Uh, however, when I look at the impedance and phase response measurements, it certainly looks like there's a, a, a reactive feature there at much lower frequency, between 2 and 4K. And uh, my assumption looking at that data uh, would be that the Electret is kicking in at a lower frequency, uh, maybe as low as 4,000 hertz. But... Um, that's, they say that that's not the case. Um, I did hear the one problem in the treble is right around five kilohertz. There's kind of a peak there. Um, and my current assumption is that this is actually the electret driver coming in and creating, um, resonances with, against the dynamic driver. Um, it's probably worth a quick look at this. I'll take the cushions off now that I've had it on my head and uh and the driver piece out and you can see that um uh here is the dynamic driver and here's the electret driver the membrane is in this area uh and uh it it does uh seem to me that this 5k peak is a little disturbing although i don't know that i characterize it as a discontinuity it's just um, an area of emphasis uh when i eq'd it out it seem to behave relatively well and um, so uh, um, with some EQ um, and like most headphones in this category I found them quite pleasant to listen to. Um, all in all I think this is an amazing offering from Enigma Acoustics as this is their first headphone ever and that it, uh, while it, I wouldn't characterize it as the best over $1,000 headphone, I would say that it is uh, reasonably competitive in that category. And that is a huge uh, uh, kudos to Enigma Acoustics. There are plenty of people uh, who are, have been manufacturers of headphones for a long time and came out with headphones in this category that are just awful. And um, to have made a headphone uh, right out of the gate that sounds as good as this headphone is, is, is really pretty striking. Um, I don't think that uh, I would recommend this headphone if you're looking for an end game headphone and this is going to be your one and only uh, over $1,000 over $1, headphone. Uh, but... Um, in that case, I might go with something like the Mr. Speaker's Ether, or the Hi-Fi Man Edition X, or the Sennheiser HD800, which of course is a classic and remains an awesome headphone. Uh, but um, if you've got a few headphones in that area and are an enthusiastic headphone listener and, and want to add to your collection, I would say that this is actually a, a pretty... A pretty cool addition given that it's really the only uh, almost tolerable dual driver headphone I've ever heard you know and and it does better than just be tolerable it's actually fairly good sounding so um, uh, I, so my recommendation is rather cautious uh, I do think it has some significant problems in the in the base and around 5k uh, but I don't think the magnitude of those problems are too far out of line with uh, what a lot of the, head of the other headphones in the category um, provide. Uh, also coming with the Dharma is a, is a nice box, and I'll just give you a little peek inside that. It has a cutout for the headphones and a place to store the cables. So, um, yeah, the Enigma Acoustics Dharma D1000, a, 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 a shockingly good first entry into the market for Enigma Acoustics, 
and a um, competitive but a little flawed headphone. Uh, certainly something um, that is worth having a listen to if you have the chance, but I don't think I'd buy it without a nice long audition and being able to hear some of the other headphones in this category. So, uh, hope you get a chance to hear one soon. It's quite an interesting headphone, and we'll see you guys the next time around.